What's going on BOFers? Peter Vera here with a long overdue toy review. Today I'm going to be looking at one of Batman 80's Funko Pops from the movie line. Um, this pop is from Batman Forever. If you couldn't guess, it says Batman Forever on the box. And he's got, guess what? The green envelope from Wayne Manor in his hand. Um, this pop is really cool because there's not a whole lot of Batman Forever merchandise that's being reproduced right now. A lot of the stuff you have to go back to 95 and get some of the original toys, which were a big part of the aesthetic and production of that film. Um, if you look at this, we got your standard Funko Pop packaging, window box, uh, the character picture in the lower left. We have Batman 80 in the lower right. We have Funko Pop in the upper left. Uh, Batman is number 289. Uh, you can't really see what the reflectiveness of this uh foil I guess on this box but on the top we get an image of Batman Funko we get another image of Batman image of Batman with Batman 80 on the back a window and the half image and on the bottom we have all the mumbo jumbo um, we're gonna jump right into this and we're gonna take a look what this Funko pop looks like outside the box so here he is Bruce Wayne Val Kilmer Batman straight out of the box and the thing that stands out really to me is this is these huge eyes which is the, the thing about Funko Pops are like these eyes are just they're kind of adorable <laughs> to be honest with you um, so we got him out of the package and if you actually take a really close look he does a good job of like emulating the panther suit like the belt looks tremendous in here you see the bat logo there with all the nice little pouches and it does a really solid job of mimicking that um, if you look, it's hard, hard to get under there, but um, the Bat logo is more gold. And it's, you know, it's mostly all gold, actually, with a little black around it. But it really stands out. And there they are. They actually included, I wasn't sure they were going to do this, but there are Joel Schumacher's Bat nipples. <laughs> the thing that Batman Forever and Batman Forever were probably most criticized for were the addition of Bat nipples on the Bat suit. And they are, you know... No, uh, no detail was spared here. Uh, the gauntlets look pretty good. Um, they look like Val's gauntlets from the movie. The cape has some nice flow to it. Um, it got some nice detail on here. The the question mark looks just like that Riddler question mark from Batman Forever. Um, it, you know that this is the envelope that Edward Nigma leaves at uh, Bruce Wayne's residence when he first decides to become the Riddler. Um, you know, standard Funko Pops. They they don't do too much. Some come with bases, some don't. Um, this one does not come with a base, but his head does rotate fully. You can just spin it around. I mean, I am rotating his body here, but he does do that. Uh, there's not much posability. These are just kind of like cute little tchotchkes you just throw around your house. Um, but he looks pretty good here. <laughs> you know, the cowl looks great. He looks kind of menacing even with these adorable eyes. And it's just, this panther suit looks great. Um, as I said earlier, there's not a whole lot of Forever merchandise out there. If you want something Batman Forever related, you pretty much have to go on Amazon or eBay and buy the original toy line. Uh, but this is a nice little thing. Uh, I hope we get something for Batman and Robin. Um, we have gotten some really cool stuff uh, from the, from two other movies. Uh, well, actually, it, it's just Batman 89. We got two. Uh, we got a two-pack of Batman and the Joker on the rooftop from the fi finale of that movie, as well as a standalone Keaton. But these things are great. I really hope they embrace them. Um, there's some other cool Batman 80 ones out there. I know there's a vampire Batman. Um, but this being Batman on film, we have to focus on, guess what, our Batman on film and Val Kilmer and Batman Forever totally qualify for that category. And this is a, I would say this is a must have, you know, Batman Riddler stuff. It looks like he's always doing detective work, so he's got a clue in his hand and this is just really cool. It just is. It's just a nice piece. A lot of details. They mimic the Panther suit really well. The, they got, you know, this, this emblem was always more gold in the movie. It seems to be a little bit more raised in gold with what I think it was Barbara, Barbara Lang or Barbara Ling and Joel Schumacher did for Batman Forever with the production and the updated the bat suit. But this is, you know, this is a solid interpretation of Val Kilmer's suit, uh, bat nipples and all, you know, that they are there and they are visible. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. I didn't think they did. They would do that, but they did. So. Shout out to Funko. This is definitely something that most Bat collectors would love. Someone who loves Batman on film, I don't see how you could not have this Funko piece in your house. Uh, it's just, it's a nice little desk toy. Um, you can put it in a bookshelf. Uh, there's a lot of places you can do with it. They're cute, they're adorable, and they're not big. And they're inexpensive too. I don't think Funko Pops are too much money. So this is Peter Vera for Batman on film, and this is your Batman 80, Batman Forever Funko Pop review.